close the door! <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to more 7 days to die in alpha 19 this is going to be our first mini challenge alpha 19 series we're going to try out something called the brawler which is basically just fighting with your hands well not naked of course we're gonna have the knuckle wraps and the brawler is actually a perk in the game under the fortitude tree which should help us out with that there's also under the intelligence or the agility tree, I'm not 100% sure. There's flurry of blows, which also can help us out. And of course, there is going to be books, which also can help out the brawler. So there's plenty of help. We have beer as well, which can help increase the damage we do with our fists. And there's some elixirs as well we can use and try out. Now, this is going to be uh, played all on default settings, except... Blood Moon frequency is 5. Because we're playing on default difficulty, I thought, you know, maybe a little bit of pressure for the Blood Moon would be nice. We're also going to have the zombies running during daytime, which should add a little bit of spice to it. Because, again, we are on default difficulty. The only reason I'm playing on default and not higher is because I never really played Prowler before, not even in a vanilla playthrough. So um, it's something new to me. Let's see if we can manage. We're also in the advanced settings. Disable loot respawn because we're probably only going to play four Horde Knights, most likely, just to see basically how the... The brawler works and how it is to play and we're gonna turn up the blood moon count to 16 which i may or may not regret so eight is the default and yeah we'll see if i get completely hammered we might have to lower it so airdrops are disabled because i don't want to get sidetracked we're playing on 60 minutes i want to kind of stay as focused as possible loot 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 upgrade your weapons um well the two fist weapons and go from there we're also going to be playing on a nitro uh, generated map we're using only alpha 19 uh, pois uh, buildings basically nothing else added the only thing i added was um a double-sided highway that will just go through the map it has no purpose besides it looks nice but otherwise all the cities everything is literally alpha 19 vanilla and nothing else added on top of it so we should have a nice experience as vanilla as possible anyway i hope you guys are gonna have a good time let's get started and here we are a beautiful new fresh map the smell of freshness and newness okay let's not waste any time so let's get cracking straight away on the beginning tasks we want to get them out of the way as soon as possible while we're working on that let's actually get rid of that let's grab that so so while we're working on that, we um, also can go over what we're going to do for Horde Knights. So there was some debate I had basically with myself mainly um, on if we should be using anything at all in this playthrough um, on throwables. So the throwables are always kind of in the uh, in the middle of the debate because they're not really weapons as such. Yeah, Now there are weapons, of course, grenades, emollative cocktails or pipe bombs. Um, either way, what I'm trying to do is not to use them. But if we get absolutely hammered um, during our first horde night and I'm just not able to hold them off, then I might add the ability to throw Molotov cocktails. Um, but Or we're going to lower the horde night and see if we can do better. Either way, we'll see. We play it by ear. But the idea is from the outset not to use any throwables if we can help it. Now, we can use the environment to our advantage, which means if there's spikes around a house and we come across a dog, we can run behind the spikes and let the dog run through it. We're not placing the spike, absolutely not. So let's see if we can get some stone here. We're gonna probably have to travel the road for that. But yeah, so that's the idea. I'm also not gonna build my own base. I wanna use POIs as much as possible. And if it goes really well and we're actually dealing with the, oh, how are you? And we're doing really well with the zombies, um, we might even use different POIs for each Horde Knight, seeing that they every five nights we should have a nice pace going with this mini series. The reason, oh, look at that. Oil, we can sell that. Electrical parts, very good. And a Magnum Enforcer magazine. Seeing that we're not going to be using it for guns, we might as well sell it for money. That's going to be really good. So let's see where we can find those stones. There's one right here. Beautiful. Look at that. First one found. And here we go. Excellent. So let's do the, uh, the stone axe. All right, and we have the trader unlocked. So let's scrap everything we're not going to need. And we're not going to use any of those guys. Let's uh, make some cloth fragments here as well. Beautiful. And we're going to sell everything. So the feathers, every 10 feathers have like a, a price or whatever. But we got to find probably a lot of feathers. So we're going to stack them up if we can. So we don't need that. The egg, we keep everything else. Um, paper is the same thing. Every 10 papers, I think you get two. So we may or may not uh, keep chipping away on them. And then every now and then sell, sell like a big stack. So the trader is over there. There seems to be a little town, which is nice. So let's just head this way. We have some stone. We have some wood. So let's go. And also four points. So 
the way I'm gonna spend the four points, of course, what is important is Sexy Saurus, um, what also is important is Pack Mule at some point, I suppose, and Pain Tolerance, definitely more important, Healing Factor, Cardio, the Brawler, which is basically giving us the most damage, and Fortitude. So there's gonna be two things um, I'm gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna put two points into Fortitude, and that will immediately get it to level three. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I want uh, the Brawler, level two, already ready to be able to unlock. So we're going to only put one point into the um, Brawler right now, and we're gonna put the other point into Sexy Saurus. Actually, do you know what? No, we're gonna do the first two points into the brawler and the reason i'm gonna do that is because right now my stamina probably won't be a big issue but this allows me to already do level three quality knuckle wraps with an extra 20 percent base damage and if i hit the head at level three we're already doing an extra 220 percent head damage so um a damage 10 knuckle wrap or knuckle wrap that does 10 damage potentially can do 26 to 28 damage if it hits the face so that is really really good so let's get ourselves a little bit of iron. We need a six iron to make some knuckle wraps. And the iron knuckle wraps are a little bit more expensive, but the knuckle wraps are gonna be six. We also need two leather, which we most likely gonna have to try to buy from the trader. Unless we can find a rabbit, which is easy to kill, or we can get a deer and uh, chase it into spikes or something like that, or even use a pig and chase that into spikes. But we're just gonna finish this level of the car here first. There we go, and that gives us a little bit of a head start on some iron. Oh, look at that. What is this? Red Mesa restricted area. Well, we're not going to go into there right away. That's definitely going to be a no-go. Let's get all this cotton here to make some more cloth because we need to make a bandana and we also want to actually make a couple of more things. So let's um, do the bandana, of course. Then we're going to do a plant fiber hat. We're going to do plant fiber gloves and we're going to do um, shoes. Oh, hello. We already have someone here and we don't even have knuckle wraps yet. So let's see how that's gonna work out. All right, so far so good. Yes, all right, look at that. Power hit right into the face. Oh, beautiful, okay. So this is actually working out rather well. So let's put some clothes on. There we go, beautiful. And nothing else, excellent. So let's go over to the trader. He's right there, very good. Midtown trader, let's see what we have here. Oh, nice, we have actually some good drinks. Some golden rod, we're gonna keep that for if we happen to get dysentery from the water. Somebody was asking, yes, water can give you dysentery. It's boiled water, still has a 3% chance of getting your dysentery. And if you have murky water, it has a 12% chance of dysentery. But luckily we have a golden rod tea, which cures it. So we should be okay. So let's have a look at the mailbox over here before we get into the trader. Very good, okay, I like it. Oh, that's actually, oh, I thought it would be 10 pages. That would be good. Would have been able to sell them. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna waste my space in my men in my inventory for a lot of the things that are only worth two We'll see. What is that? The great high stealthy Sprinting sneaky quick sneaking quickly without getting exhausted takes practice, but it is impossible use no stamina while sneak sprinting <gasps> Wow, okay, so if we sneak sprint now We can see we use stamina. So you're saying if I read this oh That is amazing That is so cool I love it. Okay, so what do we have here? It's not a working one, but oh, Forged iron, wow. Look at that, that is really good. I think we need a hundred oil or gas to actually sell them. Okay, here's some shoes we can wear. It's better than what we're wearing right now. Very good, I like it. And oh, look at that, beautiful. And there's an improvement as well. So we're definitely gonna be wearing that over the hat. Beautiful, I like it. What do we have here in the kitchen? Okay, we have some empty jars. Um, this is, oh, look at that, vegetable stew. Now, I don't think we actually will be able to do vegetable stew even when we unlock it because, well, potatoes, corn, mushroom, we could theoretically buy that. We're not going to be doing much farming here because this is more of a um, short-lived series. Well, it goes probably, I mean, we can do it to 20 days, absolutely. I mean, four hot nights if we need to, maybe day 15, three hot nights. We'll see how we get on. I'm going to learn it just in case we actually happen to find a couple of those ingredients or, or can buy them from the trader. So why not? It actually wouldn't be such a bad idea. So let's go up here, see if the chemistry station is a usable one. Nope, it's a destroyed one as well. But hey, we got an antibiotic. That's actually really good. I like it. And we have a toilet over here as well. All right, there's nothing in there. So let's head down the back way, pick up one more garbage bag around the back. Here we go. What do we have? 
just a pipe. We need that actually to make a forge. Once we unlock it. Let's see if there's anything to loot here. No. And, oh, yeah, we already took these. Excellent. Okay. Let's see what we have. May I see inventory? Do you have any jobs? Um, clear zombies. Wow, this is holy balls on a cracker. What is with the distances? Seriously, what is with the distances? Wow. Okay, that, I mean, that is like miles away. Wow. Okay, that is not right. Anyway, I mean, we have a, we have, we have a place right here. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's going to be an interesting one. So let's see what we can sell. And we're going to keep that for pocket mod potentially. Bones, we're going to make a bone shift. We're going to use it as a tool. And these guys here, we can sell. Um, we're going to get a lot of uh, feathers most likely. So we're definitely going to be selling them. This one we can sell because we're not going to use Molotov cocktails. We're going to sell this. We're not needing electrical parts. We need mechanical parts. So let's see if I can find any leather here. There's some leather here. Wow. We can actually buy two. But do you have any knuckle wraps? Okay. No knuckle wraps. Nope. Let's see what else you have actually. Serrated plate mod. Oh man. We want that. Because that means we can put that on our knuckle wraps and potentially start bleeding. Oh man. I might even sacrifice all of these guys if that means we get the money for it together. I mean, that would be pretty sweet. When do you get? Day four you restock. So I think we're going to find a lot before day four. Okay, let's do this. Let's keep this so we, don't, we save ourselves some time. And definitely let's go and get the leather. Let's get two of them. Well, get three of them, so we have one to repair if we need to. Thanks, All right, so let's do the knuckle wraps. Here we go, level three knuckle wraps. Nice, love it. And I can't wait to put this rated plate mod in. We have some money left. Um, can't afford anything, so there's that. And we probably can make another torch. Make a couple of more cloth fragments. And here we go. Excellent. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Okay, we have to go this way here. That's interesting. We definitely want also a place... Oh, look at that. We have a friend already here. We definitely want a place where we can actually stay as well. Um, yeah, we don't need them. Hello there, my friend. Oh, crap. I forgot. We actually have knuckle rubs and I'm not equipping them. So there we go. Where are they? There we go. Okay. Oh, yes, that was lovely. Okay, excellent stuff. That's me being organized here. Actually, we can just skim past here, pick up everything as well to see if we can get some nice loot to sell to the trader. Especially if we find a lot of um, gas. What is that? I mean, that's six. I think it's a hundred for every 100. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, there's no price here. So let me just see. Is it a hundred? Yeah, so it's two for a hundred. But if we find a lot here, that could be a good bit of money. I mean, it's free and we have the trader right beside us. There we go. We might find a nice little building actually on the way as well. Okay. And that's it. Okay, fair enough. What do we have in the bin? We might as well go full on out. Okay. We have another passing gas here. That's literally just across from here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, yes, okay. Oh, beautiful, I like it. Now, this is only one zombie, so, you know, we have to hold our horses. Um. Oh, wow, okay, that's really, really good timing. Pumpkin seeds, not gonna need them. But let's get more gas. Actually, it's very handy that, we're oh, here's a big guy. That big guy could potentially cause us problems. Okay, you stuck. Okay, one more. That's three power attacks. Wow, okay. So luckily we're a little bit faster than them running, which is actually really nice. Okay, that was four power attacks. Five power attacks. Six power attacks. Seven, and that's assuming none of them were glancing blows. Oh, eight power attacks. Holy balls. Say if one or two of them were glancing blows, we're talking less than eight power attacks. That is beautiful. 
Okay, let's get more gas. Nice. Make sure there's no mines here or anything. And all these buildings should be vanilla buildings. Absolutely. Okay, what do we have here? I mean, we should... Okay, let's make a shovel, actually. I mean, while we're here, we might as well have a little look-see. Why not? Okay, maybe we can also find a nice little house that uh, would make a very good... Now, we're not going to use the mines or anything. I uh, hope cup mines we're not. End of story. Um, that stacks really nicely, though. So we're going to probably use that. And we also have a free hot bar down here where you can put some stuff in as well. So let's take the drinks as well into here so we have a little bit more room. Brilliant. Okay, so let's take um, cobblestone rocks. I'm not going to take the cement with me because right now, um, unless, was the cement mixer working? I don't actually remember if I looted it in the trader or not. So might as well pick it up. I mean, the stack's pretty high. We're not going to get a thousand, so we might as well. Let's check out the garbage as well. I'm not going to go into the actual building because there could be a lot more zombies than I would like to deal with. And um, it is nighttime soon, so what I'd rec rather do is try to go as close as possible to the clearing quest maybe even do it if we can and okay oh here's some nice free wood actually that's nice that's lovely we always need that okay and what do we have here that that looks fancy i love the colors now again that should be all vanilla buildings if they're not if you guys have never seen that in vanilla oh wow we're not going to wear that though absolutely not the stamina penalty is just too insane right now so we're going to um probably just sell it yeah i mean 61 that's actually good money here we go okay two will definitely hit him on the ground wow nice okay that is beautiful Is that another trader here? Okay, if that's another trader, that would be absolutely amazing. Okay, I don't think that's a trader. That's a pretty big building. Okay, let's take care of our friend here. Okay, it seems our power attacks are pretty good. I'm just worried about um, when there's more than one. Okay, this is not a trader. I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. U.S. fire. No, this is not a trader at all. Okay, we still have a good bit to go. This is really, really awesome, though. The buildings and POIs, I really, really love them. Okay, we have to make sure, again, that we stay above 50% with uh, our stamina, at least. That way we don't have any nasty surprises. I can already see the next guy over there. There we go. We have incoming. Oh. He is a fast one. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Ooh, luckily he didn't attack us at the same time. Oh, hang on a second. I'm looking at the POI in the back. I'm not even aiming for his face. I'm like completely missing him. There we go. Nice. Look at that. That's amazing. I love that POI, the way that looks. That is really sweet. Okay, we still have 500 meters to go. This is a very long ride. I don't know. We're going to have to go back to that trader, take all the quests and abandon them so he restocks completely in all the quests overnight. Maybe we get some honey here. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to get more pipes. I'm not really to worry about it. So we're going to have to make some room. We're going to get rid of the nitrate powder. Um, everything else we're going to keep. Um, empty jars. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep them. We want to probably fill them up to murky water. These guys sell for quite a lot. I mean, eight right now is quite a lot. If we um, think about that, uh, our, the plate mod is 400. Oh, look at that. We have a Hirsch here. Let's see if we can smack a Rooney it. If it gets stuck on the house or something, it would be amazing. Oh, water. Okay. We hit it. Okay, we're out of stamina. That's not good. 
Okay. Yeah, it swam away. Genie, mark that's fast. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Please don't tell me that this gigantic building is our clear quest. Oh my balls, how unlucky do you have to get? Oh no, it's the, it's the building in front of us. Okay, okay. That would have been just a killer. I mean, that big building, a clear quest? Are you kidding me? On day one? Yeah, that trader's quest were a little bit up the wazoo of the trader. Alright, I can live with that. Okay. Excellent. I would say... Let's just do what we usually do. Let's wake everybody up. There we go. Nice. We might as well open this up now. There we go, nice. Okay, so let's open this up. I can already see some nice stuff in there. We might find some food and some drink. We actually, oh, we might actually want to make some more frames. Excellent, and then we can come in and out here through the door. That's gonna be very, very handy. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, got some paper. I'm not even gonna bother with paper. We're going to sell that, definitely. Whoa, pocket mod, pocket mod. Nice. Okay, that's beautiful. Let's actually make use of that pocket mod. That was really, really lucky. And that goes into armor. Ooh, we can't actually do any armor yet. Do we have duct tape or glue? No, we don't. So if we can make duct tape or glue, we can actually make a piece of armor right now. This doesn't fit into any of it. We could wear this, but I don't know if I want to do that at this stage. I mean, the stamina, the mobility penalty, that's just... All right, fine. We're going to do it right now, only temporarily for that one item. There we go. Okay. dog oh there he is hello my friend oh no oh no there we go now i don't even know if the dog will um jump or not but let's try it yes oh so it takes Four heavy punches. I mean, he could have actually jumped across here, so that was pretty, ooh, scary. There we go, nice. Bit of water, okay. Fair enough. Actually, five. Let's make a bone shift. And I think we need a drink and food anyway, so let's drink the mineral water. Let's, le let's eat a raw egg. We don't need the meat. There we go. Does he not give you any leather? <gasps> Whoa, look at that. I just seen the shadow and I was thinking, that shadow looks like a hand. It did indeed. Okay, we got some leather. That is really, really good. Okay, so let's make some more torches with this. Excellent, and we can throw all this out. And we're gonna throw the bones out as well. Um, maybe we can make bigger bone shifts with it later, I don't know. I just don't want to have that in my inventory right now. These guys I'm only leaving in um, because I hope we can stack them. I don't know if we can sneak up on this guy, actually. I don't know if sneaking is a thing with fists. Oh, okay, that was really lucky. There was no way we were able to sneak. Oh, okay, okay. So the dog was in here, interesting. 
All right. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. We need duct tape or glue, guys. That's something we're gonna need. Okay, it's a clear quest, so I'm assuming we're gonna have to go and upstairs and finish killing the rest of the guys. Also, this picture, most likely is something behind. Okay, there's two guys here. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go down. Yes, got him. Whoa, okay. Yes, nice. Don't you glitch through it. There we go, nice. Oh, she's down. Whew, all right. I think the first thing's first, guys. <laughs> and that is, um... Sexy Saurus, baby. <laughs> right, let's see what we have up here. Something underneath here. What do we have? A search purse. Okay. Oh, nice. That's actually really, really good. Let's eat that. Love it. And get a little bit more cloth. And then usually behind here we have the collect quest as well, the satchel sometimes here. Now this is only four and there's nothing we can use it for, so we're gonna leave that right here. I suppose in a way it's good that, we are, that we're playing this, because we don't need to keep a lot, but I would like to keep ammunition and stuff, because ammunition sells, you see, that's a thing. I mean, this is only eight, but again, if we find more ammunition, it sells for more. We don't really need the plant fiber right now, I think. Eat the egg, and let's just get rid of the egg. There we go. I'm, not, I'm okay with one um, over encumbered point, and we have some ammunition over here as well. So, there we go. Let's go across, see what we get. Nice, you see, this is what I mean. If we pick up so much ammunition, it probably would make a lot more sense to um, keep it. And then here we have murky water, which is actually going to stack with um, the other water we have here. Okay, so pockets. That's what we need. Yeah, let's go back to the trader. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to literally take all the trader quests and throw them back out. All right, we missed the window. Um, I, I was able to run quite a lot actually with um, the coffee on us. That was actually really, really good. I didn't even bother filling this up, damn it. Um, that was actually really, really good. Is there any water anywhere else here? Well, we'll see if there's a pool somewhere. But what we can do now is um, it's 10 o'clock, so we actually want to be a little bit careful. But what I would like to do is find a place close by here that we potentially can turn into our first horde base. Now our first horde knight, even with 16, shouldn't be too bad that we might get away with a very simple square box with punch holes. Hopefully, we'll see. This one actually looks like a nice little house. It has an open garage there. Oh, what is that beside it? animal what is that beside it okay oh there's a zombie there but let's be quiet let's see what we have here duct tape are you kidding me that means we can make padded armor okay let's see if there's anybody in here okay i don't think there's a zombie in This looks good. I like that. Okay. So, let's put that here. 
And that's actually giving us enough light for now. Oh, we can actually put another one in. Now this one, we can replace with uh, wood frames. Okay, I like it. We can take all this apart during the night. Okay. Let's see if we can make a bed. A bed roll. Of course, I threw out my plant fiber because that is what you do when you're looking for things to do. Okay, let's get some plant fiber. Okay, he's going up the stairs. Might as well pick up this just to clean up. Okay, here we go. He has 10. Shh, 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 shh. And back in. Okay. We can make a bad roll. Nice. Okay. Now, again, this is not a permadeath series, so um, dying is okay. We just try really not to because it would be... It would be very inconvenient. Place this here. Um, campfire. Oh yeah, look at that. We can craft a chest. Nice. And what else can we craft for padded armor? We can craft the padded hood. Okay, that makes sense. Let's do that. Actually, padded leg armor. Let's do that next. That way we have two pieces of armor. It also means we can get rid of that. Um, take the modifier out, put the modifier into here. Excellent, complete. Where and where? Look at that, beautiful. And that's for the trader. Let's make two chests. Let's definitely make a trader chest. And um, we might make a chest actually in front of the trader so we can just dump everything in there that we want to sell um, after looting. I see a few people do that actually when I was watching them um, play Permadeath Insane Nightmare. Um, Jonah Birch, actually, I think he does that as well. Very, very nice tactic, I think. So um, let's see if we can put the chest here and can put the fire on top of it. There you go. And then we can put um, the other chest right here on this side. There you go. Nice. Beautiful. All right, let's see. Oh, it's not a working one. Uh, it's untouched. Oh, a bicycle handlebar. Now that might come in order. That might be something interesting, but we can take this one apart. Now, I, I'm actually going to leave it here for now because I wait until I find a wrench or can buy a cheap wrench because if I get a wrench, it will give me forged iron. And seeing that right now, we already have 12 forged iron, getting 24 forged iron and then some mechanical parts might actually not be as hard. So we might be able to get the iron knuckles before the first horde night. I mean, duct tape, that's just glue. We can probably buy that all from the trader. But um, anyway, now paper and all that, I don't mind collecting again because if we collect it here, we can sell it every now and then for like 200 quid when we have like a stack of 500 or something. Anyway, um, let's have a look through here if there's anything to loot. No, absolutely not. And over here, we don't have anything to loot either. Maybe the cabinet. Yeah, the cabinet and that's it. Excellent, more paper. Okay, this is all for sale. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. This is our first day over on um, the Brawler playthrough. Again, we're gonna keep it to the knuckle wraps. We're trying not to use any Molotov cocktails, pipe bombs, nothing. And we'll see how it goes. If it goes all pear-shaped, then we can adjust from there, but we're trying our best. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you want me to change anything, make it easier, make it harder. I don't want to raise the difficulty too much because I think we're going to get the difficulty with the number of zombies we're going to encounter. And um, that's in itself will probably be a challenge enough. But it's supposed to be a challenge as well as a little bit of fun. But we're trying to stick to the rule set at least as much as possible. Anyway. I hope you had a good time. If you did, remember to click that like button in the balls and I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel, channel challenge, <laughs> new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.